Hi, it's Karen Gilbert from Online Perfume School and today I am coming to you with another student brand showcase. So this is where I talk to people who've done the Artisan Perfumery Mastermind and have launched brands. And today I'm here with Valentina Slavova. And welcome Valentina, thank you so much for agreeing to come on and talk to us about your experience, your journey and your brand. So before we kind of launch into our chat, just could you um, let people know about, you know, your business name and where they can find you? I will put a link below this video, but yeah, if you just give us a brief, where can we find you online? Hi, Karen. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm really glad to be here. Uh, so my name is Valentina and I live in Bulgaria in a small mountain town near Rose Valley. Uh, so I cannot smell the roses, but I can go often in the spring and go for the picking uh, roses. It's really fantastic. That's amazing. I'm going to have to come visit you one day then. Yes, that's what I'm going to uh, suggest. You have to come here in the spring and you have to feel this. It's really, uh, how to say, there is no words. You cannot describe this. You have to experience this. That would be wonderful. Uh, yeah, and uh, my brand is uh, it's called Fairy Sense. It's a line only for natural perfumes. Mm -hmm. I've launched it uh, a year ago. Yeah. And uh, yes, it was, uh, it is called Fairy Sense because uh, I believe that uh, there is magic around uh, aromas. You yeah. know, they can transport us uh, through time and through space and you cannot see them, but you can feel them. Especially Definitely. I yes, with your agree. soul and everything. And, um, well, how I started, maybe I have to tell how yeah, I started. So, yeah, just tell us um, a little bit about, um, yeah, so what, you know, what your business is all about. So you've covered that a little bit, but um, yeah, why and how did you start? What, you know, what was your, the starting point of your journey? It, Yes, um, before 10 years I was pregnant with my second child a child, and uh, I have problems with uh, perfumes, especially synthetic fragrances. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then I started, in, I, was, um, I was okay with essential oils. And uh, that's how I uh, started interesting in aromatherapy. And then shortly after that, I um, started learning aromatherapy. And after several courses in aromatherapy, I decided to um, to um, be educated in natural perfumery. Then I, I, I've read some books on natural perfumer, uh, perfumer, perfumery. Uh, that's how I uh, found you uh, with your first book. It was a green guide on the natural, natural beauty. beauty. Yeah, lots yes. of people do kind of come into it from that, that way, yeah. Yes, and I don't know if you remember, but I came to Salisbury to... Yes, I do, yeah. Yes. I was going to say, you came to... I don't know whether it was one of the first ones. So when I moved from... We, when I was teaching, yes. before, I was teaching in London, and then I started to do my live classes um, in mm -hmm. Salisbury, which is just on the edge of the New Forest. And yes. I can remember you coming to that. It was, I think it was one of those classes where we had people from all over. I, I can't remember the class that you were in, but we had a lot of people who'd flown in from all over the world. Yes, right? yes, it was exactly. And it was really magnificent for me uh, because you... I don't know, but your way of teaching is so understandable, you know, you can... Oh, um, that's good to know. <laughs> yes, it's very well because my first education is um, a human resource management and I also educated people in other oh, topics. Ah, so you come from a training background. Then. Yes, yes, and it was really useful for me to see how you, um, you educate and it was really understandable, believe me, it was... Um, I have read a lot of books before uh, that uh, cl uh, class, but you, how to say, you just gave me another vision of everything and it was really clear for me after that. That's how I decided to join your, uh, uh, your course because I, I was sure that uh, after that it will be much easier for me uh, to work with uh, natural fragrances. That's, yeah, that's really interesting you say that. One of my, I think, just one of my biggest um, missions, I suppose you would call it, 
is to make something that people find so complex and so complicated as simple as possible. And Thank actually, you. I think I shared this story, um, I'm not sure if I shared it in the class, but I've shared it on like webinars and things recently, where actually it was a lot of my background in, so well, I was in product development, and then I went into training with HR. And it was actually what I learned when I was doing the training, like I learned how to be a teacher and a trainer that actually helped me with my perfumery because it enables, it's the same thing, right? So we're taught how to take a thing, a topic and chunk it down and make it in small pieces so it's understandable. And I get a lot of people from overseas, like the majority of my students are not yeah. from the UK. You know, we get a lot of English speaking from, um, from Canada and the US, but I do have a lot of people from other countries where English is not their first language. Exactly. And so it's really important to me to be as clear as possible um, and as, you know, simplify everything because I think, you know, there's so many smoke and mirrors in the fragrance industry. So I'm so pleased that, that you found that, that clear. Yeah, exactly. And uh, um, aromatherapy helped me very much to work yeah. with the fragrances, but it's not the same, you know, when working with the essential oils and their therapeutic uh, uh, qualities, it's not the same like when you want to make uh, uh, a perfume yeah. with that finish uh, scent. And yeah. that helped me very much because, um, for example, the one thing that was really useful me, uh, for me was uh, olfactory training. Yeah. Um, this so is something, important. yes, that I think this turns me very much, um, how to say, it was um, like you taught me how to uh, translate stories uh, in sense because I love to travel I love to um, to take photographs and uh, this is another way of using our senses but it's how it's very important to know how to translate these um, these feelings you have into sense and that's what I thought from your uh, your course that, that's, that's wonderful I think actually it's interesting you coming from an aromatherapy background because I studied I trained I was in the fragrance industry first and then I studied aromatherapy after that. So I came mm -hmm. from a, a different um, direction. And what I found actually when I did my aromatherapy training and also when I was at Neil's Yard, I went on to teach a, a blending module on their course is that you don't really, yes, you learn about the therapeutics, the chemistry of the oils. And you actually, I find, you know, aromatherapists do know their materials that, you know, that, that they've had that part of the training but you're not really, the focus really is not on the olfactory so much. Exactly. And exactly. On, I know that on my um, aromatherapy training that I did, there wasn't really a huge focus on making something smell beautiful. It was more just on the functional aspect. So I think it's great as to have, to have that aromatherapy training so that you can pull those two things together. And that definitely helped me when I went on to formulate fragrances for some of the Nils Yard products where we were given a, right, it has to be this, it has to be these materials because these are the therapeutics. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay. But from my perfumery training, it was like, okay, I know that I need to add other little bits and pieces in there to bridge some gaps and smooth it off so that it actually smells good as well. So I think it makes it a very rounded education. So I'm so glad that you, you got that piece. Yes, exactly. That's, that's brilliant. Um, so as part of, so from doing the course, is there anything um, that you feel like, I think you've probably covered it a bit, but anything that you felt you couldn't do before that you can do now? Yes, uh, this is special with the accords. Uh, I think um, um, the course gave me that confidence I didn't have before that to make well balanced uh, accords, especially the horizontal ones. Yeah. One. Yes, um, because I know the, the, the way it should be done, but it's not the same. Even I, I think when I was in your live, uh, life uh, class, yeah. Uh, it was really, uh, how to say, it was really important to see it um, making in, in, uh, in the way of making that, uh, these accords. And yeah. after that, when you show us uh, the different methods and the simple 
the simple one was yeah. really useful for me because I made it by myself and I saw the way that uh, they develop the, 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 the scents when you combine them. Yes, I knew that before from the aromatherapy practice, but it was not the same, you know, no. it's not the same. Um, and I think this was one of the most important things for me because I explained that algorithm before I didn't knew that. Yeah. So that's, it's like I always go on about accords so much because I think it's something that's missed. Um, if you don't, I don't know, like people, I think people try and do too much too soon with perfumery. And I think especially coming from an aromatherapy place where you're taking, oh, this, this and this and mixing them all together with yeah. no kind of structure or breaking it down. It can be so difficult, especially as a beginner, to mm. know where you went wrong. And what I see, and I think I'm sure I, I always say this in my live classes anyway, that I see people trying to guess, oh, I'm going to put two parts of this, one part of that, three parts of this. And they're trying to guess the numbers rather than just stripping it completely back and do exactly. the experiment. Just do yeah. it with one part and one part. Just build it up, smell it, write your notes. So I'm yeah. so pleased. It makes me so happy when I see people getting that lesson because that's all you need really that is that is totally all you need and then you can build on that by yourself uh, yes because before that i was working mainly on drops and i remember even uh, on your class you told me please don't do that anymore and uh, no drops yes <laughs> measure them it's good this perfume is good but you have to measure i remember this this is this very well and um, uh, maybe i should tell you but the perfume we were making on your class yeah. uh, is one of my uh, one of the perfumes in my line oh, I, okay. yes this was this was the first uh, version but then i made some modifications i have a year a whole year to watch it how it developed mm -hmm. and it is a, it is a, a sand story for Salisbury, <laughs> so it's really oh, fantastic. It's What's that called? called? I, I, I would love to see that, yeah. Yeah, it's called English Violet. Inside uh, there is oak moss, a little bit of course, and oh, yeah. uh, but yes, <laughs> violet leaves, jasmine, a mimosa and some other materials, but it was, it is really uh, great because this is what I uh, connect with my experience there and with you of course so oh, uh, yes <laughs> oh that's so great to hear I, I do not I love doing these um, interviews so much because it's really it's it's amazing to see like the progression from like when people first start and having their their products and their brands out there that's amazing um so just this is this has all been like it's been so lovely to hear about this Valentina and I'm definitely I'm gonna be putting it on the calendar so when is the rose harvest in Bulgaria? So is that? It's in the, it's in the middle of May. This is the best time. Uh, even we are making every year some events at that time. And uh, we usually make a group of uh, 20 people going in the morning to pick roses really early in the morning uh, and uh, after that we are making some kind of activities and I'm really proud because this year I have this idea of making um, accords which are ready you know well balanced accords yeah. and then people can play with them so they they don't want to to learn perfumery you know yeah but they want to make want to perfume, which is, yes which is more easily and I thought this idea because as I told you, the most um, precious thing in that course was making a course for me, learning how oh, to that's make. Fabulous. Well, we'll have to have a chat about that afterwards and I'll see if we can yes. organize something for sure. That sounds amazing. Because they play, they are ready, they are top, middle and um, base and, and there, are, there are no, uh, how to say, um, the risk of making errors when making a course is limited. So you make a perfume with ready a course, you know? Yeah. And it's really interesting, fabulous with the picking, uh, with the rose picking. I think this experience is very good. You should come yeah, here. I will. I will. <laughs> yes, I'm inviting you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's always nice. <laughs> yes. um, so like that, that's amazing, Valentina. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you would add like, so for people who are, 
thinking, oh, you know, you know, maybe I can't do perfumery, you know, any, anything that you would say to watch out for, any lessons that you learned along the way that you would add for people? Yes, um, I think, yes. One of the things I've learned is that you should not be afraid of mistakes. You know, uh, you have to be, um, you have to know that there will be always mistakes, but that confidence is uh, very important when you have a teacher uh, behind you that can show you the, the way, you know, this was uh, the easy way for me, uh, um, making your course. Otherwise, I have to read a lot of books to make a lot of experiments and, of course, uh, mistakes, but it was easy when there is somebody who can teach you uh, everything he knows. So I think that uh, people who are really interested in perfumery should be um, should um, uh, should be in that course because oh, this okay. will be, yes, this will be very useful for them. Um, and the other thing I think is very important that people should um, accept uh, that um, as we are different people. Uh, such are the aromas. They are also different. For example, um, natural perfumery taught me very much of acceptance. As yes. aromas are different, people are also different. And the other thing was patience, that you cannot uh, be hurry to make uh, the best perfume from the first time. And I think that uh, this course is for natural perfumes, definitely. But you will teach a lot about yourself during the teaching, the educating yeah i think thank you so much that is yeah that is really true and even as part of the process of learning you learn so much about yourself exactly during that journey and yeah i mean we have so many people on the course who make just with naturals some people who make with naturals with synthetics mix but yeah the, i mean naturals have always been my passion so it's always great to talk to people who have got that passion as well and yeah, acceptance is a big one because, you know, as we know, there are limitations with naturals. It's not like you can't make everything. You can't yeah. always, if you have a vision for, you know, a particular type of scent and you want to make it with naturals, that isn't always possible. It's, it's just not. So it's accepting like where you want to go with things. So that's a really nice lesson for people as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for um, taking the time out to, uh, to talk to me today, Valentina. And for those of you watching, I will post the link to Valentina's social media and website below this video. So you can go follow her and uh, hopefully experience some of her fragrances. So thanks very much and bye for now.